Good afternoon and welcome to Integrity Cells and Service. This afternoon, Dave and I are going to give you a nice video of our 2002 GMC C7500 elevator bucket truck. Dave's going to go ahead and head up into the boom and we're going to fire this truck up now and let you see that it operates from the truck engine. Okay, go ahead and start it. Okay, Dave's going to fire it up and uh, we're going to get you get the operation and performance evaluation. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and go up in the boom a little bit, and then we're going to come back down and show you that it operates from the pony motor as well. So, to give Dave a minute to get situated, and he's going to go ahead and run her up for us. Okay, as you can see there, at a very low idle, the truck runs the boom right up, no problem. There comes the lower boom up. You can see that it does function from the truck engine very nice and smoothly. Also, you can see the extension of the elevator going up and down there. That part works very well as well. So let's go ahead and just come back on around while Dave lowers it down, and then we're going to proceed to shut off the truck engine and give you a repeat from the pony motor. Okay, folks, now that we can hear better with the engine off, Dave's going to hop out of the bucket, and I'm going to just kind of let you scan a nice overview to let you see how nice and sharp this truck turned out for us. And he's going to go ahead and fire up the pony motor next. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fire the pony motor up. I wanted to give you a demonstration running off the bucket. I'm going to show you there's no speed loss in using the pony motor. You're going to shut off that expensive gas motor and switch over to the pony motor. Here we go. All right, let's Dave follow Dave around to the control panel, which is located in here right behind the passenger seat is where you fire up this pony motor. I'm going to pull, I'm going to show you right here, right here's the, the, oh, the key right here. You just turn this right away and go ahead and fire it. Boy, as you can hear, that sucker comes roaring right to life. And what you're hearing there is a three-cylinder Kubota gasoline pony motor. And that sucker will run all day, and it just whispers on fuel compared to your big V8 gas engine. If you want to look at making money and keeping it in your pocket, folks, this is what's going to make the difference is having that pony motor versus running your big V8 gas engine. So we're going to let Dave get up there and get situated, get his safety strap on, and he's going to raise the boom up here in a minute. And as you can see, it's starting to elevate there. It works just as smoothly from the bucket or down at the lower controls as what it works from with the truck engine. There's absolutely, as Dave stated earlier, no speed and no power loss. As you can see, there comes the lower boom section, and then he's going to go ahead and raise the actual elevator platform, as you can see, coming up right now. Now, folks, with this elevator, if you raise this sucker up, you can reach a lot of jobs that you just can't get done without an elevator. So it's a premium truck. We have it here looking nice, in good mechanical condition, and it's priced to sell. So I hope if someone is serious, if you have any questions that we miss on this video, please don't hesitate to give us a call because we're here to service all your needs. So we're going to follow him around as he raises the elevator to its fully extended position. Let's come around and get you a nice view from this side. I'm going to back off a little bit and let you get a look at him up in the bucket. And there you can see the elevator fully extended and you can see him rotating it as we speak. Now look how nice and smooth that runs and operates and the truck engine is sitting there completely shut off saving you literally thousands in fuel savings on an annual basis. So folks again take note how nice it operates 360 degree rotation, brake over center boom, elevator, chipper dump box all in one nice compact package. Where are you going to go to find it in nice work condition, set to go to work like this truck is? Now, folks, he's going to come on around and bring the boom all the way back around to its resting place and then lower down the elevator. And while we're waiting on him to get the selection back home, we're going to tell you what we've done to this truck. We have went through it entirely. We've done a major service and tune-up on it. We've done a thorough inspection of mechanical parts such as the boom, the brake systems, and the whole shooting match to make sure that you get a nice user-friendly piece because obviously we don't spend this kind of money every day. And we know that it means everything to you to get out there and be able to do the job and get the job done. 
So as he brings the elevator back down, he's going to come on down and we'll show you then next the operation of the chipper dump box. So I'm going to come up close and let you see this elevator come down and collapse to its resting position. And Dave is going to lower the upper boom down so that he can raise the dump body. So what you do here, folks, is you lower the top boom with the upper boom elevated so that the dump box can be dumped. And we're going to let you see in a minute that the dumper box works well. While we're waiting for him to get in a position where he can get out of the bucket, I'm going to just slowly walk around the truck and let you absorb what we're showing you in the video. I'm going to let you see here at a very slow paced walk that there's absolutely nothing to hide on this truck. It's not beat up. It's not scratched, dented, and dinged beyond repair. It's a very, very nice truck in exceptionally nice condition. All right, there goes your chipper dump box as promised. Running right off the pony motor, and it will dump again from the pony motor or from the truck engine itself. With that, Dave's going to go ahead and shut off the engine so that we can hear better in the video. He's going to idle her down and then go ahead and shut it off. And I'm going to start right here on the left front side of the truck. And what we're going to do is work our way slowly to the back. I'm going to let you see how nice the steer tires look on it. We have roughly 80% rubber on these nice Michelin steer tires. Dave's going to open the hood at this moment for us so we can get a nice look under the hood. Folks, as we walk up here, I want you to take note. Look how nice and clean the radiator is. Around the engine is very dry and even under the framework looks exceptionally nice. Here's an opportunity for you to have a close-up view that you normally would not get. I'm going to go ahead and come on around to the driver's side and repeat that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me take a look here. This is a, has an air compressor right on here. It is air brakes. It's, it's very, saves you a lot of money with the air brakes. I'm going to go ahead and pull the oil out here and let you take a look at the dipstick. Look at that beautiful oil. You can hardly see it on the stick. You can see right there. What beautiful oil. Okay, and, folks, with that, I'm going to let you see the repeat. You have roughly 80 90 percent tread on the drive on the driver's steer tire as well and again take a look the air compressor Dave referred to earlier and you can see around the manifolds everything looks very nice and clean on this truck even the exhaust system looks to be in excellent condition with that we're going to go ahead and close down the hood and I'm going to give you a nice squared off look from the front of the truck in the video so that you can see that the upper safety deck racking and all is in perfect condition nice and straight and lines up very well with the bump Bumper. Folks, with that, let's continue on down around the passenger side of the truck, and I'm going to go slow so you can get a very honest representation of how nice and clean it is. As we come on back, I'm going to have Dave open the toolbox for us and the engine compartment door so you can take a look at the pony motor and take a look at the condition of the toolbox itself. Now, you can see we have all the storage devices for your pole saws, the hooks for everything you need, and look at the bottom of the box. No rust at all. With that, let's have a look at the pony motor compartment. You can see it's referring to the three-cylinder Kubota gasoline engine I referred to earlier, and that was the fuel sipping unit you heard running and operating the truck earlier in the video. Folks, have a look at the nice matched drive tires, heavy-duty rear spring suspension, and how about this nice, clean, double-frame chassis. Look how nice and clean the frame is. It is L-wrapped, double-frame for extra support. And what about the bottom of the box, folks? No rust whatsoever. All the cross members are in place. No poles poked in the floor from logging abuse. Very, very nice and clean. Dave's going to go ahead and lower the body for us, and I'm going to let you have a look in the back of the body while he's getting the uh, bed lowered down. You can take a look as we come in. We actually demonstrated this truck with one of our chippers. You can see we have a little bit of fresh mulch in it. Otherwise, you can see that the inside of the bed is actually in very nice, clean condition. As he lowers it down, I'm going to give you a nice view. We have the heavy-duty rear panel hitch, nice, clean framework, and differential under the back of the truck. Just take a look, folks. It's all here in a package that, until now, you've only dreamed of at this price. Look at the back of the truck, folks. Nice and square. The rear gate closes well, and you have the long storage toolboxes there as well. Now, folks, we see a lot of these trucks. It's a really nice truck. This truck was, was not rusty. We take a lot of them. We have to sandblast them down and fix them all up. This truck never seen rust. Uh, we did recondition it, take it in, and, and, and get it ready to go again for its second life. Uh, it's ready to make you money today. 
Folks, let's continue on up the driver's side and let's let you see we have a repeat of nice knee-deep rubber on the rear drives. Again, have a look at the framework and here I'm going to give you an up close of under the actual chipper dump body view. You can see where the cross members and stuff are. As Dave mentioned, no previous sign of any rust blistering whatsoever. Let's continue on around and you can see we have the double tool boxes on this side as well, the outrigger controls. And with that, Dave's going to open the driver's door and we're going to give you a nice view of the interior. Okay, as we come up to the driver's door, you can see it's much cleaner than what you would expect for the miles. This truck has been well taken care of, maintained. Look at the nice seat cover. Just take a look at how nice that is. It's not torn up and soiled. I'm actually going to tip the seat ahead for you. Even behind the seat, folks, look at how nice it is behind the cab, in the cab, behind the bench seat. And take a look at the headliner area, not all beat up and destroyed like so many of them are. Even including the dash area is an absolute fabulous condition. We come across, you can see the Chelsea Air PTO, and then take a look at the instrument panel. With that, folks, I'm going to hop in the truck, and I'm actually going to let you have a look at the engine oil pressure. We're going to go ahead, power it up, push the clutch in, and I'm going to fire this truck up for you. Okay, folks, as you can see, sitting there, I'm going to bring it up to about at about 1500 RPMs, we're sitting there at about 60 pounds of oil pressure. I'm going to get it right up close. And I'm sitting there at about 1500, carrying 60 pounds of oil pressure. And it is at about 150 degree operating temperature. You can tell there the fuel gauge works, the alternator works well, oil air pressure gauge, and here's a look at the odometer as well. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the engine so we can hear better. You can see it's reading. 133, 815, 133,815. Folks, with that, I'm going to give you a final overview of the dash, the floor mat area, heater control area, and let you see that it's all intact. We don't have broken parts and missing switches. And here is the actual Chelsea PTO to operate the hydraulics from the truck engine. With that, I'm going to let Dave wrap up the video. Hey, thanks for shopping with us today. I want to show you that we do detail and we take care of our customers here. One thing that sets us away from our competitors is we are BOOM certified. Your safety, you do not have to worry about your safety when you buy from, from us. We are uh, we BOOM certified by the American Crane Association. Give us a call at 260-238-5000 or on my cell phone at 260-760-5203. Give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about this truck today. Also, visit our website at www.99trucks.com. That's the two numeral nines, 99, and the word trucks, T-R-U-C-K-S. Thanks so much for shopping, and I look forward to meeting you.